Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this in this video, we are going to discuss the most important question regarding automation testing. This video you use for the Selenium interview question, Java interview question, and the manual interview question, API interview question. <clears throat> so let's begin. The first question is explain the exception hierarchy. So uh, here I am giving the real world example uh, so that you can understand this question easily. Now. Uh, first we see the what is the exception so exception are the problem that occur during the program execution and which interrupt of the program flow so exception is a problem which occur during the program execution which terminate the real program flow so now the real world example like imagine a school <coughs> mean here in this question uh, we have to imagine a school where thing can go uh, things can go wrong like the principal means throwable. Uh, let me here um, exception hierarchy show you. So here throwable is a principal which is responsible for handling the all problems. Uh, here problem is exceptions. And the, there are two types of problem in a school which is the exception and the other is a runtime exception. So exception called the check exception uh, like missing homework means we know where is the issue and which can be the handle and uncheck exception means is a runtime exception so take runtime exception so like breaking the school rule means unexpected mistake so here throwable throwable is a principle which is responsible for handling all problem exception means uh, there are two type of exception like check exception means the exception like missing the homework uh, that which issue that can be the handle and the uncheck exception means runtime exception like breaking the school rule which is unexpected mistake so here throwable means the parent of all exceptions and the error exception means in the problem that can be the handle like late homework and the runtime exception means a unexpected error like breaking the school rule rule and the error means it is a critical system failure like a school fine so how to answer this question in the interview so in java exception or the problem that occur during the program execution they follow a hierarchy like under throwable so there are two main type the exception uh, which are recoverable and the error means a serious problem so uh, we can give here uh, one uh, real time example that I now explain. So the table check exception can handle uncheck exception with a runtime exception and cannot be handled. Error is a critical issue. We use exception uh, for recoverable issue and the runtime exception for coding mistake and error for critical failure. So in this way we have to explain these questions in the interview. So uh, the question is write a program to create a uh, custom exception. So first we will see what is the custom exception. So custom exception is a special type of exception that we create ourselves uh, when the Java built-in exception are not enough. Uh, now we see the real life example regarding custom exception like uh, imagine a school rule where student must wear a uniform. If student come without uniform, the school should throw an exception. This, this is called the custom exception. Uh, I hope you guys you understand this question like custom exception means Im uh, you imagine uh, you are in a school uh, school and there is a rule for the school that uh, student must wear a uniform if the student comes without uniform the school should throw the exceptions and this is this exception is called the custom exception so now we see the step to create the custom exception so step to create means uh, first we have to create the class that extend the exceptions like check exceptions or the runtime exception. Then we have to define the constructor to pass the error message. Then we have to throw this exception when a specific condition is made. And here we have to use catch and handle the exception in the main method. So uh, we first we consider the scenario like a school has a rule that a student must be at least 6 years old to take the admission. If a student is younger than the 6, we throw a custom exception called invalidate exception. Uh, here we create a one a class 
name is a invalid age exception which extend the exception uh, whether the exception is a runtime exception or the uh, check exception so now we define a constructor to pass a error message like public invalid age exception string message and the, here we are using the super constructor then inside the check age <coughs> there is a parameter int age which check if the age is less than 6 or not if the age is invalid we throw a invalid age exception in the main method we call check age which uh, pass, contain the parameter 4 which trigger the exception and in the catch block uh, handle it handle the exception and print the error message i hope guys you understood this First, we create inherited exception class which extend the exception. Here, we create a constructor to pass the parameter. In the custom uh, custom exception example class, we create a one <coughs> method at check age which through a invalid age exception. After knowing this condition, whether age is less than six or not. If the age is invalid, here if we, it is throwing an invalid age exception and if age is correct, then it will showing the message like admission successful. In the main method, we call the check age method, here we are passing the 4 because 4 is less than the 6, means here it will throw the exception like invalid age exception. So in this way, we have to explain the in the interview first we have to ex uh, explain the custom exception uh, definition like custom exception is the user defined exception which extend the exception or runtime exception and it is used when java built-in exception are not enough uh, like that i hope guys you understand this question and the guys i have made a one note which contains selenium interview question java interview question and the manual testing interview question these notes contain 2000 plus interview questions uh, for the Selenium, Java and the manual testing. I have gathered this question from the different platform like LinkedIn, Telegram group, WhatsApp group and the other platform. And I am trying to provide its answer with a real time example and I have also explained every answer in the detail. If you want these notes, I am giving its links in the a description box and the comment box also if you want this note please go through this link and share your feedback uh, for these notes now moving to the next question and the next question is what is interface and the abstract class uh, so in a simple definition interface is a contract means which has a rules and a no implementation and the abstract class means it's a partially built out means some rule and the some implementation so, interface is like contract where we define the rules but don't implement them. It only has a method declaration means interface has, interface has no body. Classes that sign the contract means classes that implement the interface must provide the implementation to this, uh, sorry, to this class. So, a uh, real life example means imagine a remote control. A remote has a button like power on, volume but no one tells how to do it. So, the TV, AC and the music player must provide their own implementation. So, <coughs> now we will see the what is abstract class. So, abstract class is the partially built house. Means it can have a both like fully defined method means concrete method and the only declared method means abstract method. Real life example for abstract class like some uh, blueprint for the car car like some parts are already built like build C and some parts are left for the manufacturer to build like engine and the color. So interface is like a a remote control which defined a button but does not say how they work and the abstract class is like a car blueprint means some parts are already built and the sum need to be completed by the manufacturer like engine and the color. Also here we can use a simple code example. Here uh, interface remote which contain one method power on. 
and in the abstract class there is a car which has a simulator like sport car car mean a sport car sport car is a uh, extender abstract class of car so uh, here we are uh, giving a more exam more different between the abstract class and the like interface means the method in interface method declaration only method declaration no implementation and the abstract class contains some method can be implemented variable which are used in the interface like public static final and the abstract class we can have a normal and a static variable access modifier which are used in the interface are always public but we can use public protected or the private access modifier in the abstract class Uh, a class can implement multiple interfaces. Means here we can use a multiple inheritance concept in the interface, but we can't use the multiple inheritance concept in the abstract class. Like a class can only extend the one abstract class. We cannot define a constructor in the interface, but we can have a constructor in the abstract class. We use interface when we need a blueprint with a only rule, like a remote control. And we use abstract class when we need a partially built slice, like a car view. So in this way, we have to explain this question in the answer. So first, we have to define uh, both the concept. Like interface is a contract that can have a defined method signature, but has no implementation. And the abstract class is a partially built class that can have both abstract and the concrete method. So after that, we have to give the real life example for the interface. We have to give the example like remote control and the abstract class. We have to uh, give the example the car view. So uh, now we will move to the next question, and the next question is why is an abstract class allowed to have a constructor? So uh, why abstract class allowed to have a constructor? Uh, first we will see <coughs> a simple answer like abstract class. Abstract class can have a constructor because it is still class, and each constructor is used to initialize the common property of the child class. So a uh, real life example like uh, blueprint of house abstract class means blueprint of house means general structure and the concrete class means different type of type of house like villa apartment etc so the blueprint can have a common feature like number of room and the flooring material but the actual design detail like color furniture will be decided by each specific house similarly abstract class has a constructor Which initialize the common properties, but the full implementation is left for the child classes. I hope you guys will understand this uh, question. Uh, so, in the abstract class, a lower constructor. Uh, here, we you can give a, one the Java code example to the interviewer. So, <clears throat> interviewer can understand the this question answer. Now, the question. One question is again from that why can't we create the object of the abstract class? So even though abstract class can have a constructor, it cannot be instantiated directly because it is incomplete. Because abstract class has an abstract method without implementation, it is meant to be extended and used by the parent class. So the constructor still run when a child object is created, ensure the parent setup is complete. Now. We have to explain in the interview like an abstract class is allowed have a constructor because it is a still class and the constructor help initialize the common properties. And the uh, when we give the real life analogy like think the abstract class has a blueprint for house. The blueprint decide common thing like room count a room count, but the actual design is done by the specific house type like villa apartment society. So the constructor is an abstract class help the setup of this common feature. And so the abstract class can have constructor. The constructor run when a child class is instantiated, and we use to in uh, we use constructor to initialize the common properties and the setup the resources. Yes, one thing is we cannot create the object of the abstract class directly. The question is different between final, finally, and the finalized. So, uh, final, finally, and the finalized are the three different concepts in the Java, but there has some different purposes. 
like final is a keyword which is used for the variable method and the classes finally is a block which always execute even after the exception and the finalize is a method which call before the object is destroyed by the garbage collector now we will see the some uh, real world example let's compare uh, these three thing to a real real life concept <coughs> like final is a pixel means imagine school rules that cannot be changed like school start as a 8 am school 8 and a 2 pm and finally which is used for always cleaning up like after eating food we always clean the plate no matter what happens like this and finalize is a method which is used by the garbage collector so when a garbage truck pick up the tracks it checks one before throwing it away like this so fine in the final keyword which is used for variable method and the classes it prevent the modifications like constant it prevent the method already in the child classes it also prevent the class inheritance like final class cannot be extended <coughs> Final variable means value cannot be changed. Final method means it cannot be overridden, and the final slice means it cannot be extended. Now, uh, finally, block means it is always execute execute for clean. So it is used in the exception handling. Try catch finally, it is always run even if the exception occur or not. It is used to close the resources like files, database, and the connections. Finalize is a method uh, which call before the garbage collections be, uh, defined in the object class. It call just before the object is destroyed by the garbage collector and it is used for the cleanup resources but not commonly is now used. Now we use. <coughs> so finalize is called before the object is destroyed. It help release the resources before garbage collection but finally it is preferred for the cleanup. Now the question is how to answer this question in the interview. So first we have to uh, tell the, de the definition, then differences and then the, the real life example. Like final is a keyword which is used for variable, which is used for variable method and the classes. Finally is a block which always execute even after the exception, whether exception is occur or not. And the finalize is method called before the object is destroyed by the garbage collector. Real life example like imagine the school rule. Final means school start 8 am and 8 am. Cleaning dishes after eating means finally. And the garbage truck checking the trash before throwing the away means finalized method. So in this phase we have explained this question in the interview. In the next video we will again uh, we will again see the some uh, most important question regarding automation testing, selenium and the Java. The notes that I, I have prepared, I am giving its link in the description box and the comment box also. If you want these notes, please go through this link and share your feedback about this note. These notes contain 2000 plus interview questions which, which is for the selenium, automation testing, manual testing and the java. It contains the 2000 plus interview questions. I hope you guys, you understood all these questions in a simple way. <clears throat> thank you for watching this video once again thank you